back starting with the finals we have chemo playing Ra instead of Oranos and there I can't go. see your screen oh, you can't I thought I shared it I'm still sharing Can you close in and reopen mm, okay. it okay and we've got Matreus playing on Loki all right Interesting matchup, Bra against Loki. Not one you would expect from the get-go here. I mean, maybe the Ra, but not the Loki. <laughs> yeah, I think there's a bit of like psychological warfare, isn't there? Like one of them picks a god they're not heap strong with, hoping to get like you know Matt to pick I don't know something strong or Chemo to pick something strong as he has. So Chemo was probably the I don't know the likely person to win this match. But then he can't play Ra again, so that's out. Yeah. And I, I've also seen a lot of strong play of Poseidon against Ra, but maybe Matt doesn't like that play against Chemo. Mm. And that's why he chose to do something else on this map, to hopefully catch Chemo off guard and get a win in that way. But yeah, we'll see what uh, Matt's going to do here. I'm... I will say I'm not a big fan of this matchup for the Loki. It's 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 going to be quite difficult, I think, to really get going what you want to get going. And yeah, we'll we'll see what Matt's going to do here. I think just a Forseti rating is the plan, but All right, Temple going up. Let me also reveal the resources that might be nice to see. What relics you got? The Scarab Pendant. So oh, nice. 20% Siege Crush Attack. That will be nice to have. But might not be too impactful for this game against the Loki. Well, with Siege, I mean the Siege Tower. Um, yeah, Matreus is going to go up. He's actually going to be up quite quite early, I would say, for a Loki. That's pretty nice, a four minute advance. He's got the seven on food. He's gonna have three on wood, three on gold. Should hopefully be enough. Oh, actually, he's switching one more to wood, I think. Six on food, four to wood. That's a quite, ni quite a nice build. And our Ra player, did he get hunting dogs? Yes, he did. Okay. Kimo made a granary here, but I think he's going to have to make a new granary here to make this gathering from this rhino worth it. Yeah, you may as well chuck it up, right? It's free. Longhouse is going up. Kimo is looking for some damage here, and nicely, Matt has pulled back a low HP villager from this side. But it is also a bit of a giveaway for Kimo, knowing that this is where the villager came from. So he's going to try and find and will find some villagers here. Yep, and Hands of the Pharaoh is coming through as well. Okay. But the two Hersey are on it, so I think that's fine. Damn, the villagers did a bit of damage there. Yeah, it's definitely nice to get that low so that he can start potentially sniping it. And there's the shift. Ooh. Just for two Hersiers. Maybe he can even escape one of them. Oh, he's going to go Oh, is he going to get the... Yep. Yeah, that's probably both of them dead. With the second ghost build. Oh. Third ghost build, yeah. Yeah, hit the villager. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I think that's fine for Matt. He only lost two Hersiers to this Shifting Sands. So this Shifting Sands gone. He didn't really lose any economic damage here at all. It's just just two Hersiers, so 
overall, I'd say that's good for Matt. Yeah, and he's still on hunt, whereas Blue is only now grabbing his TC, so he's a bit probably slow grabbing his second TC. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's all to do with the fact that he has to move out with his priest yeah, and pharaoh true, and true. get up early and all that stuff. Yeah. But, yeah, it's going to be a slightly slow TC, and... Yeah, where's the gold? The map. Oh, there's a gold mine there. Not too bad. It's going to be slightly difficult to secure, but far from impossible. But let's see what Matt's going to do. And I think Matt probably just, I would say, it's just a classic 1TC semi fast heroic braggy push. Okay. I assume that's going to be the play. And has Matt actually scouted Blue's second TC here? I can't. I don't know. Mm. I, can't, I can't know this. <laughs> I mean, he knows that he's on a second TC. Yeah. But I just see those Hersey are over this side of the map. Not sure what they're looking for. Because it's a raw player. You, you can pretty much yeah. guess he's not going to be hunting out here somewhere. I guess he's also kind of just scouting for yeah. himself. Knowing where true. the gold mines are. So. Very true. Oh, second TC from Matt actually going up. I did not really expect that. Huh. It is definitely an option though for Loki if you do it semi fast. Uh, if it's if it comes late, then it's not that impactful. But if you do it early enough and you can do a nice boom off of it, just getting that that you know hell timing with just popping out four fire giants and the ballistas and all that stuff. Very very difficult to deal with in the uh, in most situations. So yeah, if he can get that going, that's going to be quite nice. What? Oh no, I missed saw something. Well, the relic is a ship of fingernails. Plus, I like this TC because it will help against if if Kimo goes up Hathor. Obviously, he'll have the rock and the locust. That really really helps this gold mine positioning. You know, you can sort of garrison in your TC and protect yourself a bit when the time comes. Yeah, maybe. It's still quite a, w a walk away. Alright, there is the rain. He does Ooh, have... Is he not empowering? He's empowering this TC and that, and he's okay, okay. getting a new priest over to that one. Okay. And he just got plow as well. He's getting husbandry now as well. So that should be all the upgrades coming in. Nice yeah. walls. Whoa, that's, that's quite some walling here. I mean, that's yeah. definitely a benefit of Norse being able to do that without, you know, having to pull villager off. I do think Matt needs to think about getting a very quick heroic timing himself just to stay competitive in the mid game. I do think Kimo has scattered the gold mine now. I think he's going to try and wall that off. Yeah. There's the Hathor coming through for Kimo. Even Kimo has a stuck villager there. But he just deletes the house. Oh, he's actually going to hunt still. Oh. Six plus twelve is eighteen farms. I mean, I think one of them is not occupied, but still. I don't think he'll be hunting for long. With the RC here. Yeah, and he can, he can probably fight them off at those numbers. Does he have skin of the rhino? He's getting it right now. Okay. But if the more hers come in, then definitely he cannot fight that. Yeah. All right, this wall coming up though. Is it gonna get? Is he gonna finish? Nope. Oh, he can't walk through that. Oh, how come? <laughs> you can't. Hmm. Lucky off. for chemo. Yeah, quickly. nice micro on his wall building there. <laughs> yeah, Matt should be able to quickly hammer down something though. Oh, he's picking off a villager on the wood line. He's getting Hall of Fame. Midgul coming very defensively here. But at this point, it does make sense. Matt's definitely on top of this position right now with these units. You don't want to. Yeah, he's looking sort of for an aggressive sort of play here, perhaps. There's a rock. There's a lot of units sitting here that definitely want to come out. Move over here. Sending oh. the troll back for the rock, that's nice. Yeah, unfortunately it probably won't be enough. He'll yeah. just pop out the wadget and pet. And True. Always making more of them. 
Is that gonna be enough even so? Alright, here's the fight. A bit of a fight at least. And Ooh, I don't like this fight for red. Yeah, skin of the Rhino, and he's blocked off everything. Yeah, I don't like... Nope. <laughs> Well played by Kimo there. That was a nice bait in, wasn't it? And then just building up those barracks or whatever he did. The units. Oh, he's hitting the mining camp. No, 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 Matt. You can't, you can't attack a mining camp. That's terrible. We need to fight the villagers. Has he had any spawns yet? Sorry. Uh, not yet. No. Unfortunate for Matt there. I mean, he doesn't have that many hearse here to No, begin true. With. He went a lot of RC. RC incoming. The camels are becoming very valuable here against all these RC. Mm. Where's our rock? Is that flying over the main TC now? Yeah. yeah it's taking some damage. Mm. The trolls might be able to intercept oh. it now if he can notice that. And then there's the Hursi ready as well in case the myth units pop out. But yeah, it's clever. Kimo is securing his gold lo location. Oh, they have popped out, and they are picking off the trolls anyway, but the Hurser should hopefully clean up the myth units. Yep. Ooh. Oh my goodness. It's gonna get away. <laughs> oh, there's a bunch of villagers in the middle. Why are they here? Kimo, why are they in the middle? Did they just Bought get them into fight? I mean, it's probably not necessary. What are you fighting for here? Yeah, I think he just got pulled and didn't yeah. notice. And now this this low HP rock will get away, and yeah, he's not forcing another troll, but he does have nicely his uh, gold split on two different mines. Mm. It's very clean and strong play, but unfortunately, most of Loki's army looks to be dead. Well, it's got some units scattered around his base, but his initial aggression is completely pushed back. Yep. Loki having to do his farm transition now as well, which is a bit of an awkward time. We might be able to get these hunters with Oh the, yeah. Uh, locust. So many upgrades. Got shaft mine and irrigation as well. There's Matt himself has just some baseline. No husbandry even. Probably needs to get husbandry soon. Temple going up. A second one. Interesting. Man, chemo, chemo's 28% Osiris. Oof. That's scary. Oof, okay. Yeah, that's going to be quite tough, tough for Matt to deal with. He's going to have to go Mythic himself, I think, to do anything there. But I think Matt is sticking to this heroic age plan he's doing. He's making a bunch of battle boars. They might fall in value really quickly once yep. mummies come out on the field. And the Osiris. Oh, Son there's the spawn, the first one. Yay! Alright, he's gonna get a couple free hits at least. Copper mail for chemo coming through as well. What are those buildings on the left on red? Down, 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 near his wall. Oh, okay. Trying to get some value. You know, if I know Matt cannot know this, but you know, he could hammer out yeah, the table. Yeah, yeah. It's probably too Stop late. The free anyway, mummy. But... Yeah, I think it's definitely a bit too late. Here we go. Mummy's gonna pop out. Quickly get the uh, horses over there. No, he's gonna run away. Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh, the horses could yeah, get him. Yeah. It's gonna get the battle boar, but it's gonna kill the mummy. Yeah. I think that's a decent trade. I'd rather get rid of the mummy straight away. Yeah. But Kima's getting a lot more upgrades as well. Sundite mud brick, heavy chariots, carpenters, all that good stuff. I'm surprised he's getting heavy chariots. I haven't seen many chariots so far. Just Maybe he's preparing a bit for like a rag. Have we seen like medium? Has oh. he got the axeman upgrades yet or it's, anything? It's Loki. Oh, Loki, sorry. <laughs> sorry. My bad. Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, there's the locust. Two dwarves so far. Nothing too big. I mean, once again, Matt has been quite nice in splitting his dwarves, and dwarves are also tankier than villagers, so that extra 10 HP probably helps against the Locust. Oh, Kima getting his third up, though. If he gets that up for free, I feel like it could be denied. But Matt is not aware. 
I'm not sure where Matt's actually going. Maybe he could remake this wall. Oh, he's noticed this is He's not going to be on time, I don't think. Mm. This is not enough units. And these guys are way too far. Idle. TC going up. H4 Hell coming through by Matreus. That's is going to be his play. And I think he needs to start saving his favor now. I hope he's doing that. No, I need to cancel this. Yeah. You want to make fire giants here. There's no, there's not much point for battle boars. No, because they have to get in close. You've got an Osiris there. They just don't have the yeah. splash damage or anything, even though they've got the like disrupt. And you definitely also want to make some hill forts, at least two minimum, just to start getting ballistas and yarls out both. You just want yarls to tank and ballistas to just snipe the Osiris, basically. But yeah, Kimo's position is looking stronger and stronger the longer this this is going on. Three TC Ra, four to five TCs, most of the eco upgrades. Matt's gonna get his own fortified TCs in. Yeah. But these units are looking stronger and stronger. He's got champion chariots, couple armory ups. Matt has just copper shields, I guess that that's fine. Oh, there's another mid spawn. Mountain giant, not the best. Not in this situation, no. But it could still be a nice tank. There is hell. Is that going to be an instant Nidhogg? Looks like it. And there's not really any heroes around. Yeah, where's our, there's our Osiris. Osiris is coming now. So Don't he, go too deep. Don't go too deep. He's going to have to pull back, probably. Or he's just going to come in with flaming weapons right now. But I don't know if that's going to be... Maybe, yeah, maybe. Because, I mean, you got the Nid... Oh, man. Nidhogg out to bait the Osiris out. And then sort of, you know... There's a rock. Ooh, oh, the rock. oh my goodness. Oh. oh God, 14 HP. The rock's dead. How's our Nidhogg going on hit points? He it's looks about halfway dead. Halfway. Cyrus is shooting at it, a couple of chariots and a TC as well. But chariots are also dying quite quite rapidly. Yeah, there's a lot of myth units here. There's only one son of Osiris and one priest. But I think Matt needs a few more here. Oh, he's still got a few human units. What's his pop out? 146. He's quite yeah, he's losing pop quite rapidly. I mean Mercs are here. Champion Spearman with a couple upgrades as well. I think this push is not pulling through. Yeah, he's just dropped pop about 15 oh, pop or so. War, I guess that's nice. Mm. But still, he can just spam these mercs and defend even against myth units with the Osiris. Okay. I think Nidhogg is shooting its last fire now. Yeah, I think he'd be. I don't know. I think I prefer to see him pull his Nidhogg back and go find a gold mine or something annoying. He's actually getting some more damage done yeah. here. Yeah. <laughs> this battle board bouncing it's true. around. It's true. Should be any moment now that this is the last. There it is. Do we see Kimo making any mummies? Has he rebuilt his temple? No, because he hasn't garrisoned his nice no. relic. He is trying to make temples and. He did have one there, but that did die. Okay. Okay, there's a hill fort finally. We've been needing some ballista. And Matt's definitely got the economy for ballista right now. He's got all this wood and gold sitting. He definitely wants to make ballista. I think, I think you probably want to make uh, throwing axemen and raiding cab on top of it. But the Merc push flood by Kimo is starting. Kimo's trade is kicking in probably as well. It's not that much. Not yet, no. Never mind, he's just murking early. <laughs> but now, yeah. Focus the hill fort on the Osiris. Yeah, he's done it. Yeah, and the ballista, nice. So that's gonna be some more damage. Ooh. And it should allow the fire giants to help clean up the rest of the units. Yeah, these chariots are just gonna fall like, fall like flies to these fire giants. Ah, you need to pull your, pull your hearse here back a bit. They're not gonna do so well here. I think it's probably time to say bye to Herser altogether for this late game composition. I think you want to make Raiding Cav here to help deal with flanks and surrounds for the Chariots and Osiris. Mm -hmm. And a couple of Throwing Axemen maybe. 
Yeah. To help clear the spearmen and have builders out. Still, this, this Mercs making it really difficult for Matt to try and get a nice death ball going because constantly on top of this army killing Hersiers and potentially killing Ballistas. They haven't done it yet, but they could. Ballista's chasing the son of Osiris there. Oh, no, not quite. Kimo pulling him back nicely. I think Kimo's probably getting quite good. But no, not quite. He's actually yeah, he's spending a lot of gold on the mercs and now uh, mid goals and barracks. Osiris is only on 42 HP. But this catapult is still working on these buildings, and it's quite annoying to have to rebuild all these buildings for Loki. Alright, some priests as well coming out. Yeah. The problem here is you want to build this, but you also need the fights, so you're torn. You either build it and then lose something else, or don't build it and never get it built. <laughs> Right now, Kimo should probably start pushing in again. Time to snipe the priest with your ballistas. Architects and iron weapons for Kimo coming in. Alright. And hands of the pharaoh even to get some extra range on those priests. Apparently we're lagging a bit. Is your game actually lagging? Uh, not my game, I can check my OBS. Oh, I did drop a few frames I think, that's all. It should be okay now. But yeah, the Osiris has been picked off. Nice. And I just saw a mummy fall. And the ballistas are trying to kill the catapults. They're doing a good job. Fight is not over yet. Kimo is a bit down in population, but he also has a lot of resource in the bank. Wait, did Kimo destroy? What's Kimo got in that bottom corner? Sorry, I've been looking at chat. Okay, that's cool. all. Oh, the ballistas are running forward. What are they doing? Are they going to try and hit the hill forward? Or the middle? Yeah, they should be killing the priests. That allows the fire giants and any other misspawns to just help clean up the rest of the units. And here comes those five chariots. So now it is Matt's population dropping again, and this hill fort has died. So it's again just the one hill fort. Yeah, he's, I don't think he's got enough production buildings. He's trying to build some there, but that's that's way too like close to the fight, right? They're just going to get knocked down straight away. Yeah, he just built them here or whatever. Just, yeah. Yeah, just, just get Close them enough, but not too close. Oh, there's a wall coming in from Kima. That's going to be a really like. Oh, there's a fire giant in this temple. Oh no! Eject it! Eject it! Oh no, Matt! <laughs> no, that's five population doing nothing. Oh, he's actually mining gold over here. Yeah, very sneaky. <laughs> Jeez. I mean, he's got a closer gold mine, so I'm not sure why he went for that one for the Sun Tzu special. Matt's getting his stone wall upgrade for some reason. Oh no, has Kimo found those gold miners? Oh no. Yeah. I don't think it's that big of a problem because he's got the trade set up for the most part. But yeah, he does need the production though to use it. Yeah, I wouldn't say his gold is like taking off or anything. So those 20 or so gold miners are pretty useful at the moment, especially if you're trying to spam fire giants. Please notice it. Check your idle units. Mm. Just does not feel nice to see this sitting mm. here doing nothing. <laughs> oh, that's that's a bit of a push here. I didn't see. Oh wow! Move all the ballista over. Yeah. The mercs can just run around anyway. He needs to throw up a wall here, and he'd be 
be pretty good. Okay, another wall just died. It's not gonna happen. Mm. It's not gonna happen. But that's a big chunk of his population. Oh, God, just gone. So that's why his population was held up, I guess. Yeah. And the fire giant. <laughs> yes, and that fire giant. That's slowly killing you inside. Alright, I think the chariots have found those gold miners. Yeah, the gold miners are retreating. Could consider just converting a field under wolves. Yeah. Or just not as well. It's fine. Alright, Kima trying to push through here, but right now, I guess just doesn't have the mercs. <laughs> the mercs are over here killing a house. Oh, a nice hill fort coming up. Yep. That is kind of okay losing these dwarves for now. I think he's still making caravans. Yeah, he's still sitting at full pop now, so that's nice. Right, that was finally down. Oh, the house stayed up. Lucky for him. I uh, know the mummy. Oh, fire giants. Oh, nice. Just hit the mummy. Yeah, there. exactly. He can. Damn. Yeah, you got it. Is it dead? Oh, yep, nice. Now I need to focus down the priests with one or two ballistas. He's only on medium cav still, that's that's not that great, I think. <laughs> Definitely want to get those up. Mm. The blizzards are doing their sneaky side attack. Yeah, here. going in. Ooh, and away. he's getting towers up. Nice. And a wall. This catapult is being a pain though. Yeah, this catapult and these towers. thats It's going to be sort of, I think, a rush to see who can get each other's TC down yeah. sooner. And I think Kimo's going to win that fight, that rush. Yeah, he's got the merc, so he can do that. Yeah. Yeah, and these ballistas ugh, so slow moving around the map. Like obviously catapults are as well, but the catapults are already sort of in position to go. He can pick off this catapult though. Go, go, go! And potentially wall this off. If he can get this DC down, that'll be huge because then the mercs are dealt with as well. Mm-hmm. I mean they'll come from the other TC, but it'll take a lot longer to get there. D um does 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 Red have uh Shit, what's the armory upgrade called for the arrows? Burning pitch? Yeah. Okay, nice. That's a lot of towers though on him. Both these players have yeah, got so many towers. Matt's about to lose his TC. Yeah. The mummies are doing work. These are also just a medium husk cars as well. They're not. Oh, uh, yikes. That yeah. Nicely upgraded. And he no. is probably on basically max upgrades here. He's got the resources for them. Okay, he got rid of the catapult. Okay. But still, his this position is not looking nice. But uh, oh, nice! This TC is going. He down, won. However. Well, he won this little. <laughs> <laughs> and look at these towers. Oh my God. Yeah, now these ballistas need to work on these towers. But then they have to move all the way around this wood line again to get to them. Oh, there comes the next catapults. These towers are ridiculous. Yeah, I don't think you need more towers. No, I, I think you're fine. I think you're <laughs> fine. Oh my God. <laughs> I think Matt can hold on to this TC here. I don't know how he's going to get into this. Oh, mm. maybe the fire giant. Let's have a look. Oh, he's oh, yeah. shooting. At least he's forcing the mm -hmm. catapult back and it's going to die. That's probably oh, nice. worth it in the end because, you know, you keep your TC up at the cost of one fire giant. But Yeah. Kimo making mercs from his main TC. But Matt's eco is struggling here. He can't even rebuild anymore. Did he end up ejecting that fire giant? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes, he did. So he does have a TC advantage for now, and I hope. Yeah. You're gonna have to hope for Matt that he can stabilize that into something substantial. And he needs to stop throwing yeah. units under these towers. Like, look at this. Don't move oh them in there. God. Yeah. And they're only just medium units as well. Yeah, this is horrible. Just, just a ram or a blister. Yeah, a ram will be nice. Hmm. Stop the throwing axeman, please. Oh, swine array? I don't... okay. I guess against Murkav. He's doing a really good job picking off the catapult, though. Man, the units dying to these towers is just sad. 
And these towers are doing nothing to these calves. <laughs> like, yeah. Doing a bit. <laughs> but yeah, maybe Matt can push these ballistas into this location. Take Ooh. out take out the mid goal and start building on this. That would be huge. And where's he sending his huskulls? Is he going to go for a market thing? Like wall up or destroy a market or something? I think he's doing something sneaky with the huskulls. Kimo cannot get his catapults out. He's going to have to try and do something about that. Okay, he killed all the other buildings, but not the mid goal yet. But he could still start spamming like two or three towers here. Yeah. He might be at his tower max now. <laughs> Uh, Matt also, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this TC is not gonna go up, but slowly but surely these ballistas are dying. Oh. Yeah. Is he replenishing them? Like, is he trying to build more in his forts? Oh, that's 26 Oh, that, that TC is going up. Well, not if you have two ballistas shooting at it, but... Oh, I think someone went Titan. Yeah, Kimo just went Titan. Okay, all the ballistas are dead. This TC is guaranteed to be going mm. up. That is... A big sad for Matreus. He is slowly burning away at these towers. Yeah. But if Kima gets the CC back up, then the Mercs will restart. It's no good. Oh Some no. Harassment in the trade. One Wolf Sark medium is probably not gonna. Well, they're low HP. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, Kima going tight in here is. Putting a bit of a timer on on Matt here as well, because mm -hmm. there's no way he can go Titan himself. There's just there's no. just no physical way to do it. He doesn't have the resources. But even if he did, I mean, yeah, you can research it, but then what? <laughs> yeah, then you've got your whole army trying to build a Titan. Yeah, I mean, I guess you can semi rag just to convert half your eco into Ulfsarks, I guess. But then you know, you lose out on your entire eco. Push is restarting, all the villagers are coming out. Kimo's got resources for days. There's catapults back on the field. Half the towers are dead, but there's still crazy numbers of towers standing. Some more fire giants, so we can hit those hills. Yep. Man, it's two Migdols going up here though, like, even if he kills ten of the bills, it probably helps Kimo more than anything. Wow. Yeah, I don't think... I don't think Matt can keep this up. There's just no way into the late game, brah. No. GG. GG. It's a nice Loki display though. Yeah. Alright, let me update the score. Okay. Very well played by both players. Chemo showing how it's done. But now no more Ra for Chemo. Yeah, that's true. Someone was saying in chat they wanted to see the Poseidon versus Ra sort of match up, but we're not going to see that, sadly. <laughs>
for all to see. I like the goat blocking for the boar kill. Uh, wonder if that was even intentional. <laughs> Kimo has healed up the villager, but only slightly. <laughs> Matt was slightly housed, it looked like. Did he not build one after his dock? Can he not afford to? I guess not, no. No, not quite. Mm. I mean, you can, but then you're missing out on fishing ships. You want to wait until you've got yeah. the fourth or fifth villager on wood. That's the villager that should probably start building the house, but must have forgot. All right, both players getting their dock up top now as well. Yeah, quite about the same time. You know, Egyptians usually build buildings slower, but dock is actually one of the buildings they do not build slower than other sieves. So that's another reason why they are so good on water. They build the docks at the same time and they're cheaper. And the fishing boats can make the docks. Yeah, I wouldn't consider that to be the... <laughs> no, because they're quite slow on that, aren't they? Work, yeah. It's nice for later on in the game. But on this map, it's probably quite irrelevant. It's more so for like bigger team games or other non-standard water maps where that becomes really powerful. Mm -hmm. yeah, temple coming up from Chemo. Temple is up for Matt. He should be able to go up any minute now. There we go. Quite an early advance. He's going to be able to get two docks on both sides. Yeah, he's got the villager moving over. Have we seen what the relics are on this map? Um, I haven't seen any relics yet. I can reveal the map. But it is a water map, so they're probably quite meaningless most of the time. Building Pierce and Blue Crystal Shard. Okay. All just nice to have relics, but they're not really crazy impactful. And next coming through. Oh, it's a house spam. Yeah, no, I don't like this. No, I don't. why not just take the time to place them properly? It's not as though, I mean, he's almost housed, but you could place one down and then place the rest nicely. Yeah, just, I don't know, even just build them around here or something. Uh, yeah, do know. something with them. So, Kareem's Bast and yep. Hex for Chemo. In fact, He's got 16 ships. That means Matt's not finished all of them yet. Yeah, he's missing two. Would be nice if we can get those up as well. The first boat's coming in by Matt. But also that's not Persine yet. No, Matt has not gone for Persine. Usually on this map you go straight for Persine and Kima actually is going straight for a TC instead. Oh wow. Okay. I mean, Matt's not even sort of pushing past the first dock here, so Kimo's still able to, you know, have what, three times four, twelve fishing spots pretty much. Uninterrupted or not he didn't got a well, dock there, never mind. Yeah, maybe nine. <laughs> he's got yeah, he's got six in this one. He could also push this one off. Like put two over there and two over there. Yeah. Uh, he's going to try and keep doing more damage on this side. I think Matt himself is going to Theseus. Sphinx is not quite doing anything just yet. But Matt should now know that this DC is up. Yep. So now Matt needs to make a move. Like, what does he do here? Obviously fighting on water at this point. 
it's kind of pointless because Kimo's not fighting back. So you can stop all the Shireems. Oh, but secretly. Oh, but secretly. Kevin is oh. at least on the top side being made. I would like to see Percine for Matt though, but maybe he wants to take a TC first. Just to counter the TC. I think mm. he just placed. Yeah, he's going for it. Okay. But yeah, Kimo is preparing his own counter push on the top side. It's going to take a minute, but he'll get there eventually. Increase the sound, but the sound is also loud. I think the sound's fine. At least it was at some point, and nothing's changed, so. Percy now coming in for chemo, not Matt. I'm Percy for Matt! Oh, there we go. And Shaftman for Matt. Yeah, looking quite good. What eco ops does chemo have currently? Yeah, hand pickaxe, and yep. it did pick up the relic. Yeah, Kima's even going for the bottom side now, He's making some cabinets. But he has been able to fish now, at least definitely on the top side, but even on the bottom side, for the most part, been able to fish here. Matt's coming back in. Oh, did it pick off? No, not quite. But now it's Matt who's being pushed off fish, so he probably wants to try and fight. And he's also garrisoning ships into his dock. I think Kimo's also still producing though, so that's, that might end up quite difficult for Matt. Villager pick off though, it's quite nice. Side's looking right rough for Matt. I don't think he's gonna be getting back on it. Well, Kimo has stopped now, so Kimo's gonna probably commit harder to the bottom side. Yeah, he's making on three docks now. So that's gonna allow <laughs> Matt to come back on top, but then possibly lose the bottom. Both players might be looking for a heroic age though. It does look that way. Let's see if there's any armories. I don't see anyone. No, there's. Ugh, man. Oh my god, what is he <laughs> doing? Is this to. <laughs> Protect yourself from earthquake. I don't know. It's still the same. Kimo should be up any second, and Matt also should be up any second. Still hunting, even. But again, I'm missing the armory. I can't find it. Did he forget to build it? That's unfortunate. Kimo up through Nefties. There's the uh, prosperity. There's the counter push on the top side. Matt is yep. remaking some fishing ships as well. Now Matt has the resources, but not an armory in sight. Matt, what are you doing? Come on. He's going mythic, but realizing he's still on yeah. the quest. <laughs> <laughs> so a little bit of value here by Matt killing some of the fishing boats. That's about it. Kimo is remaking some more ships himself. Kimo also doesn't want to make too many cabinets because right now he can just make seed ships or even get the upgrade for the cabinets. Mm. And he's making war barges on the bottom side. Matt is up Dionysus. It's a nice monument here to protect this whole base. Their TC going up even. Ooh, big raid on the gold mine there. Oh yeah. Theseus might fall over though. Oh, he fell. He fell. Might be able to pick off the scorpion man. No, Hippolyta's really low. She's probably gonna die. Yeah, we're going a bit too deep here. Yep. Ouch. I think Matt well, probably should have alt est those units under the tower there. Yeah, so they could just uh, harass the gold line but not get dragged in. Yes. 
that should maybe be able to just jump instant mythic. He's getting a TC, but only with three villagers. And now, uh, yeah, he's being pushed kind of on both sides of the water, but, you know, Dionysus is going to give him a free Scylla. That's going to allow him to come back, at least on one side. It will coming up, though. Cannot stop it. Oh, he can stop it. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's one way to stop it. Sure is. I think Matt's going to need a lot of wood here. He needs more production. And he needs to, you know, get an instant market. To go mythic while he still can. Looks like he's sending a villager down, possibly. A couple of idols. And he also kind of wants to make, you know, boats to try and help come back on the water. So he's going to need a lot of wood. Salt and pour coming through for both players. Very nice. And we see Matt getting cladding for his arrow ships. Oh, yeah. Does he have a lot of them? Yeah, he's got a couple here and a couple there. Not, not too many though. Oh, he so needs to get his hide, uh, his skiller in the fight as well. Matt also could probably be getting. Well, I mean, is he getting his market? There we go. But this mid goal is definitely going to go up still. I don't know if that was really that much worth it, to be honest. No. Oh. I mean, his ancestor eclipse was not yeah. feasible, probably. No. But... It is true. I think only Peggy can do that. <laughs> and only against Joe. I hope he's watching. <laughs> Joe, that is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I saw him in the chat. <laughs> right, he comes push. Silla coming out. But Leviathan also being eclipsed helps quite nicely. Mm. And, oh, these units are Oh, that's ordered. brutal. All of Matt's units are dying. <laughs> What's our population? Chemo almost on full pop, whereas Matt's on about 120 pop. Okay, even a couple more over there died. Yeah, now that, and he's kind of being pushed back on the top side. He's... Oh, two, two Leviathan. Another Leviathan? Wow, wow, I don't think I've ever seen anyone. No, no. <laughs> Never seen them. It'll be worth it though, I think. Ooh, is this Hydra getting five heads? Hopefully. That's right. Oh no, there's a Pharaoh. No, Hydra! Well, it's low HP, you can just kill the Pharaoh. <laughs> or maybe come in with your Hippicon to kill him. God, I think he needs some he needs some archers or something here. He's too many spearmen. Okay. Well, Matt is moving on to that gold mine. It's these are the two only gold mines you can go for. He's coming back on the top side water now though, so yeah, water side is looking okay, but bottom side of the water is looking good for Chemo now. So it looks like Chemo's going up Osiris. Matt didn't manage to get Mythic out of this. Oh no. Yeah, I just got heavy Hippicons and Spirited Charge and stuff. Mm. And just making oh. units. Thracian horses. Yeah, I mean, Thracian horses would be nice, but you know, mythic. <laughs> Osiris. <laughs> Triple archer, even. Okay. Yeah, it's gonna be tough here. I think Matt really wants to fight right now, but he just can't. He's just not got the population. Right now is when he should be fighting, but... Uh, oh, Dock on 9 HP. It cleared out the fish, so Kimo is struggling a little yeah. bit of food. But he is raw. Oh, he's Isis. Oh shit, he is. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> I'm a bit tired. He's got... Well, no plow yet, actually. He has got plow. Oh, yeah. Oh, there. Are we yeah. both tired? Kimo <laughs> <laughs> going for instant city of the dead. Okay. Just for the Osiris HP, I guess. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, he's amigos. got a Migdol. Yeah, there's a Migdol. There's seed units. You can jump in any of that. Matt's 
it's really going to need mythic very soon, I think. It's going to become harder and harder to push through here with just heavy hippicons. I mean, yeah, they're not just heavy, they've got all the upgrades. But Kimo is going to be able to catch up in upgrades and with Osiris. Mm -hmm. Oh, here we go. The bronze. Let's see what he can get, get happening with it. Should be able to clear out most of these chariots, though. Yeah, if they don't run away, garrison. There's a lot of tox here. Probably want to get medium for that. Probably needs to set up a trade, I think. I don't think this gold mine's going to be a nice gold mine to mine from, and this is then the last gold mine, so definitely consider putting up a trade if I met. But, you know, this bronze hippicon with all these upgrades are definitely doing a good job here. Yeah, they've cleared away the bulk of Kimo's army. There obviously still is the son of Osiris sitting there, though. That's the big threat at the moment. It's kind of half health, though. I didn't notice. Damn, did he get a surround on it? Matt is still fishing for most of his fishing spots, so that's quite nice for him. And I mean, yeah. he still is too, but yeah. You can definitely see the difference in their food economy at the moment. Right, right now, Matt is quite behind on the other resources, Ooh. however. Probably yeah. wanna try and secure this as well, this side. He's trying to push through this side to try and push him off of this gold mine. He still has a bit left here, but that's it, and then he has to move. But Kimo has started his trade route, whereas Matt oh. hasn't. It's a yeah, bit more already... scared for Matt, to be honest. Yeah, he's already got a fair bit of trade set up, so... And now Matt's down in population quite hard. Keep harassing the top side and getting more fish as well. So, you know, in terms of eco, it's still quite close ish. Mm. Still say it favors Kimo for the moment. He needs to use this food while he's got it though to get that trade route started. Yeah, definitely. Nothing on the docks happening. No empowerment on the market yet either. Maybe he's waiting until Cyrus is low health. Oh, catapults but, yeah. coming in. That's going to be really hard. Yeah. Oh, that might be a nice raid, but on the other hand... Yeah, this is more important, I think. Is... Yeah. I don't see Kima or uh, Matt pushing through this to stop this push. I mean, with these towers, you don't have crenellations yeah, yet. It's a bonus for Matt, so... I guess. Ooh, that's a like... raid. Yeah, that was pretty big in the end. And maybe Matt can even go to- I mean, there's not much gold on left on that mine, is there? I think four- oh, right, there's crenellations. Yeah. So yeah. Soon. He's definitely gonna need that, otherwise these towers are worthless. He's getting a nice surround here as well, perhaps on this army. Oh, it's Cyrus. Yeah. Oh, more, more units trickling in. It's not looking too bad for Matt, but the longer this fight goes, the more power these towers are getting. Yeah, plus it's just delaying Matt's mythic age even further. Yeah. But at least it stopped the TC from going down, so yeah. I think it's still worth it. Yeah, plus the raid on the gold mine was effective as well. If he can knock down these towers before they, you know, benefit too much from these crenellations. Mm. Yeah, definitely focus them down. There's also scorpion men in here, which is a bit scary. Two scorpion men. It's the bane of the cavalry. Okay, there's a market coming up. Come on, Matt, get it up. A bit late. A little bit late. A bit more fish being denied by chemo, or a... Kimo's fish being denied. <laughs> Need to be clear on what I'm saying there. Yeah, gold mines run out. That leaves, leaves just this one, and it's not safe. It's not safe yet. I think he's gonna have to build a fortress somewhere. Maybe uh, where he's walking somewhere around there, in front of the mine or in front of the TC. Oh boy. Yeah, but. Mm. I mean, he needs the gold to do that first. Took out down one of the towers. Now it's just one watchtower. I mean, yes, with correlations, but it's just one. Maybe he can survive this. He needs to deal with that one scorpion man, and obviously the son of Osiris is still a big deal. Yeah, not, the units are passing the wrong way here. Aye. But scorpion man still. Yeah, here. that's nice. But now gold is still exposed and.
Uh, son of Osiris is going too deep there. Oh no, he can't get his market up. Oh, yeah, that's way too deep. really deep. Where are you going? And the TC is instantly focusing it down. Oh, that's that a dead a son big, of Osiris. Big misplay. Ouch. Yeah, which plus he's just lost his scorpion man. That catapult's not going to get anything done, I don't think, here. Um, not quite. And that's still in this game. I mean, he's, he's trying to hold on in Heroic Age. He's got full bronze. Yeah. Against just a few copper, but, you know, the longer this yeah. game goes. So I guess he'll be going Artemis when he does go up, which will be, like, a, I think a nice power spike, because he's already got yeah, a lot of his armory up. can wipe out this entire front yeah. phase. And, yeah. Oof. I think Kimo needs to get a guard tower or something as well. Guard towers. I mean, just the Osiris dying was huge. Yeah. Big misplay. He lost not just Osiris, but like a lot of units there. And now he's using this momentum to his advantage and try and get as much value as he can out of it. But I think on this side, it's fully totally falling apart right now. The Merc's coming in. Yeah, he'll get this Migdol down though, which is nice, because that Migdol is such a pain, like the pathing. Like, he's having to walk around this cliff to get in the fight. But again, this gold mine is 2,000 gold left, and the yeah. market okay, he's... is starting, but it's not nice. It's... But it, he should build his market, like, where... De oh, somewhere... Okay, yeah, okay, that's what he's doing, yeah. That's that's nice. It's better, but it's still not safe. It's... No, it's pretty close <laughs> to the siege works. You should uh, probably put it like here, maybe? Yeah, it's still in sight though, so I don't know. It's a tough position there to be in. Maybe if you can clear out the docks, then you can really put it there. I would like to see champion infantry from uh, Kimo, but right now he's struggling on resources himself. Bacchinalia as the final icing oh. of the cake. <laughs> Coming through for Matt, getting the absolute strongest possible heroic age hippicon in the game. Yeah, well, I mean, it's working. Yeah. That's why I want to see champion infantry <laughs> to help counter this a yeah. bit. Yeah. Because yeah, he's, he's behind an armory and obviously the extra tech, spirited charge, and tracing horses he needs to use that advantage he's got through mythic age. Oh, oh no. Yeah, but that's um, that's a big loss for Chemo having those three exposed and probably yeah. picked off straight away. I almost feel like, yeah, at this point you kind of don't even want them to be made. You just don't want them. You want the resources back. <laughs> Give them back. I want to buy all the stuff. That's three units there. But now, yep. Matt is out of gold completely. Could go to this one. How much is left in at 2,000? Yeah, it's only 2,000. That's not that much. Oh, there's Champion and Spearman. Finally, they can stand up at least a bit better to the Hippicon now. And if he can get a couple more armory upgrades behind that, that would be great for him. Okay, the trade is... It's slowly but surely getting up there. But... Kimon knows about it already, and mm. maybe he already realized that this gold mine's already gone. So that this is really the only thing that Kimon has to do is just stop this. Or at least force it to be so small that it's from like this TC to the edge of the map, or from <laughs> this water to this TC. That's really not great. I think Matt's gonna have to try and wall off and stuff. And maybe even try making other markets further. Yeah. In case one dies. He's almost at mythic though. Can he can he make it? Can he Ooh, make he it? He could make mythic? it, he could make it. Come on. So close. Come on, Matt, just click up. Sell sell food. Yep. Click okay, up. Okay, Artemis. Yes. Yes. He did it. He so, managed to get yeah. it. Yeah. Hope he's not yeah, okay, he's not building it on that one at least. But it's a big sigh of relief. <laughs> Merc's coming in, Kimo's trade is probably quite quite nice, he's empowered as well. So he's going to be able to spam Merc's forever basically at this point. Yeah, and now Matt looks like he's switching into some anti-spearmen here. He's got a few archers, but what are they? Medium tox still. Yeah, I mean they yep. do have the armory up. Yeah. So <laughs> still just medium. I mean, Matt could probably even afford maybe barracks units like your pacifist, but then the chariots would just 
Yeah, I mean, hop lights would be even better, then, yeah. but you still need to invest in the line upgrades. Yeah, true, true. And with this gold situation, it's very hard yeah. to invest in anything right now. I think he's gonna have to reroute this trade. I don't, I don't think he can hold it. Oh, the tower spam's coming from Chemo. Yeah, he's got the resources, he's gonna use them. I mean, look at this list of upgrades. He's getting bronze mill, architects, guard tower. And he's hitting the fish as well. New kingdom. Yeah, get an extra pharaoh. Why yeah, not? I mean, he's using one to empower the market, so it'd be nice to have one in the fight. Yeah, Matt can oh. keep this up. Yeah, I was hearing a lot of donkeys dying just then. Yeah, a lot of villagers dying here as well. Ouch. Okay, where's the Artemis gonna go? Probably just right here, just to try and push the momentum back. Or even oh, this. man. But man, I don't man, think man. He can do anything here. Yeah. He's got a decent amount of caravans. It's just mm. garbage trade route right now. <laughs> he could move this further, but, you know, even not that far because this is already going up. And these Hippicons he's making, they cost so much gold. There's a Chimera trying to help him in this situation, but it's only going to do so much. No, he's got a better market there. Okay, it could be even hammered down by. Yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there, there it is. It's gonna clear up almost nothing. No, yeah, siege not works in a barracks. Oh my god. Cool. That's yeah. unfortunate. That's cool. Yeah, GG. So that is what two zero for Kimo. Yeah, man. wow. Oof. But Kimo doesn't have his eggy anymore unless he plays set. Yeah, set's still an option. I mean, set on Marsh. Or, yeah, Marsh. Yeah, but it's Matt's map pick. Yeah. I doubt he's going to pick something but, like that. But but if Matt wins one game... True, true. He can play set three times. <laughs> true. <laughs> Alright, quick look at the resource. Yeah, Kimo is ahead. For the most part. Slightly better KD for Matt, but obviously he's making a three-pop unit into a two-pop unit, so that does help. But yeah, total resources, civilian units. We are back again with Chemo, Kronos, Matt, Poseidon. We all did it. I don't want to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> and the predictions are live, guys. I'll turn them off at a minute and a half game time. That's too late, though, isn't it? The deconstruct might have already happened by then. Ooh. Impactful gameplay. Alright, Kimo's going to be able to nicely gather his boar from his dock here. So hopefully that will line up quite nicely for him. Let me also open up the resources so that people can potentially follow the build better as well. If people are interested in learning the builds. Spaghetti. Spaghetti. Now, be scared of Matt now, he just, yeah. I mean, I'm assuming he's he was eating or something. I, <laughs> I don't know what else you need. I mean, a toilet break. Power shower. Have... Power shower. <laughs> yeah, I think there's only two people who do that. And it's either magic or chemo playing against magic. All right, there's the deconstruct. It happened before the one and a half minute mark that I'm about to turn the predictions uh, yeah. off. Damn, too late, guys. Did he force drop the fish? I didn't see. Yeah, he quickly force dropped yeah, it. Yeah, nice. By the way, when you turn off the predictions, does that mean you're turning it off in the future? Yes. 
How good is that? How good is that? <laughs> How do you do this? Oh, magic. So like you say, I'm turning the predictions off, and then two minutes later, you're actually turning yes. the predictions off. Yes. Okay. <laughs> That's how much I have to juggle here. Damn. This is why you're the manager. Yep, exactly. <laughs> okay. So Matt now obviously got lots, lots of wood in the bank because he could not produce ships for some time. What a shippy situation. Shippy, it. whoa. It's a pun for the other S word, but we're not allowed to say it because oh, yeah, someone true. redeemed no cursing. no cursing. So all the fishing seeps. Was it King or was that Ulysses who we saw play Kronos? One minute. Oh, that was Kimo too, I think, against Ulysses, right? When? In the meta plays? Oh, yeah, maybe nine? you weren't there yet. Because that was the first series we watched. Oh, uh, spoilers! We spoilers! Spo <laughs> 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 I'm gonna go back and watch them. Yes, but. Unfortunately, you probably know the winner based on, you know, casting these games. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell me how to think. <laughs> Here comes the Water Scout by Poseidon. So Matt's gonna go ceasefire. As we actually saw him say that in Twitch chat while the game was going on. Although that was Zeus instead of Poseidon, but he was saying that going ceasefire against Kronos is really good even on Medit because it just allows you to keep fishing for so long and smoothly set up your third dock or even a fourth dock and just get your production going. So, yeah, we'll see how that turns out for him. I'm curious to see how effective the crush is going to be against that. Yeah, there should be some interesting... Uh... Mechanics going on, I guess. Third dock going up. Chemo on two docks. But I remember from that other game, he liked to go three dock even as well, which is quite surprising. I'm not sure if you want to do that immediately. I'd rather just make two more fishing ships, but he's going for it. Triple dock. He's lined up his oracles. Ooh, that's a unfortunate line kill over there. Over there. I mean, he, I think he did that intentionally because it was sitting here. And he was like, I don't want that to attack anything. So. Yeah, okay. All right, here comes the Valor. He's got the Oracles in base. Promethean's gonna be pain. It's literally pretty much exactly the same as Kimo played it. Spoilers. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I think Matt did a better job getting up on time, and he's able to get his ships out a bit more smoothly without being immediately pushed off a fish. He's able to contest the numbers in the ships right now better than the, the Ulysses versus Chemo game, although it does need to be careful. Cannot get complacent. Centaur in the back. It's going to be nice to help deal with the Prometheans, actually, so... Yep. Yeah, you can just send that out after the Prometheans are dead, and then try and do some damage there. But so far, numbers are going good. It's it's equal. I mean, there's some low HP ships, but doing a good job here so far. There's a deconstruct. And that's the end of the mini Prometheans. And where were the Oracle heroes? Where have they gone? They're sitting in the base because oh. they're worried of heroes, but oh. Matt is not actually making them. So that's that's kind of nice, and that's. Maybe a good thing for people to know if you're playing against Chemos Kronos on Medit. He likes to keep his oracles in base, at least for a while. And, you know, if you don't make heroes, then they're just idle oracles doing nothing, so... I mean, even the centaur could prove to be a bit of a hassle. Yeah, that's true. And in that sense, it might still be worth for him to keep oracles back. Mm. But right now, Matt is looking very dominant on the water. He hasn't even used ceasefire. He hasn't needed to. Yeah, it, has he picked off two fishing ships, or did Kimo never make nine? He never made. He made the dock instead. Oh, oh yeah, you said that right at the start. All right now, the number game is in favor of Matt, and you know, Atlantean against Greek ships. Oop. 
That is looking decisive. Wow. That, that's it. Kimo is just going to be like, nah, next game, please. Not even going to fight on land. No, nah, I mean, that's fair enough. It definitely looked quite promising for Matt here. Yeah. So, yeah, very, very, very solid play by Matt. I don't, but, I can't spot any issues. But yeah. now no Poseidon for Matt. Yeah, that's, yeah, maybe he should have picked Zeus or something, because he's a Poseidon main. And then Zeus can still go Hermes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, still, still very strong pick. So we got Zeus being played by Matreus in the blue color. And in the red, we've got Kimo playing Oranos. So we saw one very interesting game in the same matchup, although it was a little bit of a different map. So I'm not sure if the same strategy could be executed. But yeah, maybe Matreus saw the game though. And that was against Moore's Oranos. This time it's Chemo on the Uranus. Oh, we're not allowed to curse anymore again. Thank you. Players choosing map or is it predetermined? It is chosen by the players, except for the very first game. That one is predetermined. Okay, so some interesting build here by Matt. He's gonna have to do some fancy Greek building because you only have three elks to start on four elks to start with it's not quite enough to really get what you want so now he's moving on to the three deer patch which is also kind of <laughs> crappy. yeah very low hunt map and then he has two patches of wolf perfect <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna have to hope there's something on the right side here for him and meanwhile chemo is doing a berries yeah, He's not going for um, eco guild, so. Did did Kimo not have hunt in his base? Why is he on berries in base? Yeah, he doesn't, and I don't think Matt did. That's either. not in. Yeah, okay, that's not in his home base, is it? It wasn't in tower line of sight either, mm. so he must have scouted it quickly enough to go there. It's going to be quite difficult for the Zeus here because of the build, and Ranos is going to be like, eh, I'm just going to up four minutes. Yeah, <laughs> it's crazy fast. So, I mean, yeah, they'll, their eco will not be as great because you don't have hunting dogs, but there's no hunt on this map. Oh my god, a patch of two mm. caribou. This is some of the worst, worst hunt values I've seen on this map. Who made these maps? Hagrid. Ensemble. <laughs> <laughs> Even letting this eight food decay, I think at this point that's not very great. You need all the food you can get. And he's already going on berries and chickens. Wow. There's nothing. You can't go here. No. It's not worth no. it. So far away, and then you'll just get raided and have to run all the way back. That's just not going to be yep. worth it. And in less than 30 seconds, he's going to have to deal with the Aranos pressure. Okay, early Jason though. See the early Jason, and Matt's looking to get up. There we go. We can redistribute his villagers. He's gonna pick up ship. Actually, this is a good oh! relic. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he doesn't need to gather any more food. He's just gonna rely on that relic. Okay, is the oracles. The villagers are running because there's no hunt anyway. Is he gonna use the shockwave? Do you reckon? He could do it, but I don't know if that's worth doesn't it. Doesn't do it. What was the other relic on the left? And there's one at the top. Um, you're asking about relics. There's a widget eye on the top. Mm -hmm. Dwarven calipers. And I think, I think Kimo just picked one up on the left. 
where his um oracle standing. Oh, there, yeah. Hero speed. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's nice. So this is nicely walled off, but we might get knocked down. So has Jason found anything yet? Not quite. Oh, there's there's a uh, okay. hunt. He hasn't spotted it yet, but oh, they're going for the relic. Oh, relic fight. Jason wins. Yeah, for sure. Plus takes a few hits on that that oracle. That's nice. Yeah, but here come the terma and oh, the catapulties. What? And Kimo's housed, unfortunately, as well. He's not building any houses. Oh, no. Oh, Kimo. There we go. The Catapeldes is interesting. I mean, I know... I know Matt likes his Poseidon, his Hippicons, but this is Zeus. He can make centaurs, and... Yeah, catapulties. I don't know. They're really food heavy as well, even more so than mermillos. Yeah, so is that the unit you want on this map where you're already like eating your chickens? He's got six cows. Matt has eight cows, so it's a small advantage for him there. He's getting plus the, plus the ship of fingernails. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And cheaper myth units, so he's going to be able to spam centaurs. Yeah, that's for actually. Cost. Yeah, that's a really nice relic for him, isn't it? Definitely. So have both players got husbandry then? Like is Kima getting husbandry for the fatter cows? Nope. No, he's got nothing. Nothing? And what about our um, Poseidon player? Yeah, he Zeus just, player, sorry. He just got husbandry, oh, yeah. yeah. So he'll get some fat cows. But Matt is not going to be able to do any of that whole play, play we saw from Ulysses. Uh, yeah, that was Ulysses. Because, you know, you can't, no, you can't no. make a play. <laughs> you sure can't. With this hunt. Okay. Man, this is going to be really Damage. hard. Nicely walled off here by Matt. I think Matt's going to be okay here. If this was Poseidon instead of Zeus, though? Yeah, that's... it'd be a different story, yeah. <laughs> then what are you making, like, yeah. Hippocons somehow? Well, getting some free damage by the Centaur. Quite nice. Yeah, definitely. I'm really surprised about this catapult. He's Has he stopped them now? He stopped them now, yeah. He's getting husbandry as well, so he's going to be able to get a bit more food out of these cows and faster. The relics are cheaper myth units and ship fingernails. There's two Oracle's heroes standing around here. I'm not sure why. <laughs> Guarding that relic. <laughs> yeah, I mean, just grab it and garrison it, right? That's surely safer than standing here. <laughs> oh no, the heroes are... Going up for oh, Kimo. how can he afford to make villages from two TCs? Like... Yeah, he will be for as long as he's got cows, but after that... Yeah. Centaur, maybe can get some nice pick-offs here on the catapulties, and that's gonna, I guess, in a way, cost a lot of food. Yeah, exactly. Place. It's gonna, yeah. He can't afford citizens plus replacing any of these um, melee units right now, can he? Like, I don't know if his TC is the right choice. He's still got a bit of hunt there, though. Maybe he wants to secure those three caribou. Ooh, there's a shockwave. Can he pick off one of the centaurs? I don't think he can. Oh, one HP. Literally one HP. Matt's actually got a nice bit of food here and he still has berries. He's even getting some farms early to try and preserve the cows, I think. There's second TC coming up from Matt, so he's playing this quite safe. And there we go, pick up the Prometheans. <sighs> Yep, nice pickoffs. Yeah, this one is, is nullified. He can't do anything. <laughs> oh, he's still going to try and kill it? No. So I would like I would like to see the centaurs going over maybe here or there. Just try and get in somewhere. There. Try and pick up a terma maybe. Right now they're just sitting in defense. Oh, man, if only you had a physician. If only. 
good walls going down here is mm. going to help Matt a lot. And we know that Matt is the king of walls. <laughs> I thought that was chemo. Yeah. <laughs> Well, okay, Kimo is the king of wall layering, but Matt is ah. the king of walling. <laughs> wow. I don't want to see those so, kingdoms. Yeah. <laughs> we have seen them, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> we saw that game as well, the first game with Loki. Yeah. He had the whole map walled, but then we saw Kimo triple layering. <laughs> mm. Stonewall as well. Okay, there we go. Matt is actually got a really nice resource. He's going to be able to go up heroic soon. Ooh, get anything there? Well, Kimo, I think, is trying to reproduce his units. Not, not quite. reproducing? He wants to go up as well? Or no, he's just... He's making farms. He's got three farms already. He's got this hunt, though. He can. Yeah, why not? Them. Yeah. I mean, the centaurs are a huge yeah. threat, aren't they? But, you know, you make a manor there. I mean, he's already I think he's, yeah, he's, already, he's already got them. I suppose. Could not pick off anything just yet there. Oops, the catapulties. Oh, yeah, he's got the hero speed relic, mm. right? So, you know, these heroes are speedy. Well, the centaurs are still faster. Even faster in the Terma. 6.36. Ooh, that's it. Three TC? TC? I don't know about that. I mean, yeah. Maybe. <laughs> That's going up Apollo though, like, oh, this yeah. is going to get tricky soon. I think, like a, yeah, go on. Yeah, I think it's still, it's still a good idea, it's just that the positioning of the TC is a bit a bit questionable. Like, the other one obviously is worse, but... Yeah. Yeah. Ideally, Kimo could just take a more backwards TC, like here or over there, and then use that to make a nice defensive base, but... All right, might be time for Matt to throw up some production buildings now as well. Yeah, he can even consider making barracks because he's already got a bit of a farm transition yeah. going. Oh, he's making barracks actually. Okay, nice. So. Oh wow, three barracks. Yeah. Oh, he Not lost a centaur. Chance. Did he lose one? Oh, there, yeah. And Jason. Let me pick up a terma there for free. Shoot. He's looking for the catapultis though. I got one shot off. Right. Barracks are producing, and I think, I think knowing Matt, he just likes to stay in heroic, so he's just gonna make a big, upgraded heroic age army and try and win with that, and not wait for the mythic age power spike. A couple units here by Chemo. Probably mm. don't need to be there. Do you reckon Matt will grab armory ups as well, sort of in the heroic age and Yeah. Yeah, Maybe good not immediately, that way. but Yeah. He's got medium infantry now, if he can get Oh, he's got a couple still standing there. He needs to get them into the fight. Oh yeah, there's a fair bit of heroes here, so the centaurs are not gonna, fight. gonna be able to do what they want. Oh yeah, pick off a couple of those, Terma. Carablist are coming out, but is it going to be enough? I think it's too slow. At least too slow to push with, like for defense, sure. Yeah. But, alright, Kimos TC is up, but Matt's going to take his. Right now, population is in favor of Kimo though, if he can get all of his units out here and... Yeah. Okay, Ooh, there's a yeah. Matt could keep up in production, still only on three barracks. One of which, well, four barracks, two of which are not producing. Yeah, he just wants to get his TC up nice and safe. Just, yeah, I guess kind of finish his boom a bit. chemo has got a good amount of resources. Going Hyperion now. Oh yeah. Copper mail. It's going to be tough with Hyperion, oh, the Manticore is almost... Oh, there's another one, so the yeah. Chaos gets value again. <laughs> <laughs> if uh, if Matt plays this right, he can keep them together and hope that Chaos will hit the yeah. wall too long. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's going to have to start mixing in some Hippicons now. Because Catapultis are all gone, and the Carabalists are becoming a little yeah. bit of a problem with this 
this quantity of them. Also like to see heavy infantry, but Matt doesn't quite have the resources for that. He needs to get full population. Oh. There's the underworld. This is why it's going hoplites. Yeah. He's hit the TC. Yep, there we go. And now he's... Luckily for Kima, he retreated his army a fair part of the way already. Yeah, what if he somehow... Mm, I don't know if he can... Expected I mean, this to come. See if it hits the manticore. Here. Yeah, because like there's a centaur, a shitty manticore. Oh, it's just on the hoplites. He's going to try to get the TC, keep it up, but I don't think it will. No. But, yeah, and then okay, just retreat, goodbye. just run, yep. and then just push through to this gold mine. Yeah. You should know it's there, the villagers there. Or I could even go for that TC as well, but... Oh, no. Oh, he's going to keep popping in and out. Okay. Oh, no, he lost one of the manticores. Now he's only got, yeah, retreat your good manticore. No, nope, he's popping his good the manticore out again. Used. Oh, sorry, yeah. yeah. <laughs> sorry, it was. So it'll take, it'll take another three minutes or so yeah, before yeah, that yeah. comes worth it again. My bad. <laughs> Yeah, this TC is gonna stay down. I mean, the heavy hoplites are very They've, strong. Yeah, even the chaos top lights are still there, like uh. probably doing damage to the TC. All right. Keep on getting his own heavy infantry now. But I think Kimo really just really needs heroic. He's getting fortified TCs. Oh, this is being harassed. Yeah. This gold mine is inaccessible, so this is all he's got now. This is walled off. <laughs> Matt is just it's going hard on the walls now. He's making sure that he has nowhere to go. And this is really hard when you don't have... Ooh, the villagers running. Oops. Quite an interesting path. This amount of hoplites, when obviously you, I don't know if you don't want to probably spam heaps of Arcus yet. You don't have the um, anti infantry. Oh no, wait, he's heroic. Yeah, he's heroic now. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, he can't help, he can't make Arcus, but yeah. He can't make him now. Yeah, I guess the Kyroblaster can hold for a bit. Where are those villagers going? Yeah. That's a good question. That's, that's, that's a strange movement. Yeah, maybe Kimo's trying to go mythic then, with his resources in the bank, or... Yeah, he's going for a palace, that's probably the right call, because I don't think this gold mine is going to be secure for too long. He's going for... Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, Matt's going, going for that TC. That TC's down, there's nothing there to stop that. That's big. And you know what, That taking that TC down as well costs three farms for Kimo. Oh yeah, that too. Yeah, that so that's... Oh wow, so that's, yeah, 800 wood, and you plus he can't farm there, so food production is down. He's just gonna come in and hit this. And then run away yeah. again. Kimo, Kimo doesn't have masons. He does oh, have shockwave. Getting... On this TC? On this TC that's on 300 hit points with 20 hoplites on it? <laughs> <laughs> and he just turns around. He doesn't even run. He just. Yeah, he can fight it. <laughs> He's Are already they... getting some upgrades. Yeah, yeah, you want the shield ones. Are oh, they medium hard. arcus? Heavy arcus, okay. Yeah, with bronze weapons and Yeah, that's, mail, that's so pretty good. Not too bad. Yeah. yeah, they can fight this for sure. Oop, that's another He's citizen though. Still going. Oh, there's Hecate. Game Damn, arms. how did he squeeze out a mythic? Yeah, with heavy bronze weapons and heavy everything. Going a bit tight there, but once he's mythic, he will be able to make fanatics, and that will be the perfect yeah. counter. So yes. Oh, that's a nice surround. That's not gonna do all too much, but pick up a bit more damage. Oh, sky passage. Hmm. Connect those two locations. Yeah, that's nice. Get pushed. You can uh, escape to the other. Matt's taking that TC though. Oh yeah. Yeah. That, the king, yeah. It's gonna be tough. Kimo really needs another TC. Desperately needs it because he can't. He can't fight being down two TC and especially three TC. Yeah, the Hecate might buy him some breathing time because the Hoplites will have to probably retreat to deal with the gate. Yeah, but then again, their Zeus Hoplites are gonna clear it up quite quickly. And yeah. I just saw Hera going through. Oh wow! So yeah, even on that sense. 
Oh, there's the chaos again. You got the manticore now. <laughs> got a couple of flights in the back there, but it's not gonna be. Um, oh my god, man! <laughs> <laughs> he if he is... can, if he can put the Titanic gate on the underworld, that would be yeah. nice. If he can find that. But... That TC's up now. Wow, it's gonna be really hard for Chemo. Definitely. He can't even get this TC. He's gonna spot this TC going up though now. <laughs> yeah, but he can't do anything to stop it. Mm, true. He doesn't have the units. Oh, no, he's gonna destroy it. Yeah. yeah. Plus, the the units are not all esque, so they're just gonna. I think it's run escape in time. I would escape here. He's trying to kill Heracles. He's lampaid. Bash, bash. There. Oh, he's looking for it. Find the underworld. Uh, uh -oh. Underworld! He found it! There we go! Underworld's gone, but still, there's enough units here to be yeah. very impactful. Plus, all these units can run over and help, but this is a juicy oh, target. How did the Vils not I don't escape? Know. Like you said, he didn't, he, didn't, I don't know, he didn't focus on it. Mason's coming for the chemo, but now again, Lightning Storm and five TCs. Wow. Oh my goodness. GG. Damn. The comeback is on. It's now 2-2. Two, two yeah, this is crazy. We're on to the final game. We're back and we're into the final game of the finale. We've got here Kimo playing Oranos. And I need to see the screen, I need to see the screen. Oh my god, we've got Matt playing Odin? Yes. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. I mean, oh. Yeah. I didn't consider it, but it's it's a good option, so yeah. Is he going to do the Ulfsark Odin strat, do you reckon? Probably, at least start with it. That's, I think, kind of the meta. You just start making a couple Ulfsarks early, put on some pressure, and then switch to your other units. So yeah, the Great Hunt has been cast. He cast it on the giraffe, I think, with the goats. And he has gone double Ulfsark, so he's trying to snatch as many goats as he can. But nice. Found Plus two. harass the oracles in the process, stop them from scouting, that's nice. Yeah, maybe he can even snatch the goats from these two oracles here. He's going to be able to get those two. It's just hitting them both all the way back home. <laughs> I think, yeah, I think he's trying to actually kill that one, but I don't think that's going to happen. It's going to be too difficult to pull off. Yeah, the no sound is when we're on the intermission. There's not, there's no sound other than our voice. Oh. Our voices should be good enough for the peasants. I mean, the viewers. <laughs> I mean, I remember Nak actually plays AOM music in the background, so maybe I should do uh, that as well. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I haven't thought about that until the final game of the finale. Yeah, I, I have to give it to Naka. He he does a lot of work in keeping <laughs> this stream like sort of interactive and chatty and music and stuff. It's a lot of work. <laughs> Alright, Temple going up for the Odin player. He's going to find the uh, last oracle here, perhaps. Oh, there's some safe giraffes there. But there's three giraffes. There's also nice. three here. So did the Great Hunt even affect the giraffes? Or is there a secret link? Is it hidden? Yes. He's got four. Secret. Secret giraffe. Okay. 
any moment now. They should be able to advance. We've got Matt switching around his wheels. He's got a uh, five on wood. Six, five, four. That's uh, quite a nice uh, Odin build. Prometheus is up. It's going to be quite a standard 430. Freya now coming through for Matt. Any interesting relics here? Not really. Maybe if you want to hunt some monkeys, the one shot, one kill relic. And there we have Pelt of Argus. That's a really nice relic. Definitely worth getting for either player here. Yep. Got 13 goats here by Matt, up to 11. So that's. So he still too... got a lot, didn't yeah. he? I mean, Aranus is really good at getting goats on this map because he's got three units walking around. Yeah, but they were getting harassed. Like, two of them were getting harassed the majority yeah. of the time. But that means there's still one scouting, whereas true. Matreus was not scouting for true, basically true. the whole of that time. So. Someone's saying Kimo's yeah. house. But I guess that was two minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> we'll never know. <laughs> Someone's saying their ears are bleeding. I thought it was too quiet. I can't get this. Right, here comes that. I don't think Forest he's really fire? did anything. Why? There's nothing there. No. There was a villager there, maybe. That's it. A bit hasty, I think. He just wants to get that pressure rolling as fast as he can, I guess, but... And it'll knock down the wall, but meh. But the giraffe's nearly finished, right? Is there much hunt left in it? No, just 150. Yeah. That's, that's going to be finished by the time anything yeah. else gets there. Yeah, I don't, I don't, 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 don't like that forest fire too much. This trimmer is unable to hit the raven. There we go. <laughs> See ya, Steve. Oh, there's the Pelt of Argus relic. Very nice. Look at that giant line of sight of that wolf. Sir. Wow. And scout the entire yeah. just corner with just one straight walk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, just double wolf sarks right now. So long as he can afford it from his giraffe. Gonna run out right now though. We'll have to start moving to berries probably, and he's already moving some to herdables. Why not go on the berries first? Ah, uh, because they're too slow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you would like to fatten them a bit, but I think he did it because he does not want to make an ox cart. Mm. Okay, and there's the wall coming up, but oh, can he trap some units there? Yeah, almost. Not quite a trap, but got some hits off. It's nice. 11 units. Yeah, it's not quite enough to fight that. Oh, he's getting Lone Wonder in. as well? That's yeah. for the line of sight as well, isn't it? No, no, that's movement speed. Oh. What's the one for the line of sight? That's for Loki. Eyes in the forest or something, yes. right? Eyes of the forest. Yes. Okay. That would be probably very crappy. Considering you already got this relic as well. <laughs> I mean, yeah, great. Another three They're like omniscience. So. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so. Units coming around this side now. Kimo is playing quite offensively here. He's just creeping units in his base. Getting ready to defend any potential incoming raids. But Matt is just using this opportunity to wall off the middle and potentially allow him to just maneuver around better than no Ronalds can. Yep. Pulling back low HP units with these extra units coming in. He might be able nice. to trap them with a longhouse. Yeah. Oh, trying to juke. Oh, medium as well. Nice, nice timing for that medium upgrade. Okay. Picked off one Mermillo and a fair bit of damage on the rest of these units. But Kimo is going into that full Mermillo mode. He wants to match this, and Mermillos are in fact stronger than Wolf Sarks. So, yeah. But what's the speed difference between the two? Slightly in favor of Matt. 
four ninety five to five twenty eight. Yeah. But you know, if, if all you're doing is just fighting head on, then the Bermillos have the advantage because they have a lot more HP. Yeah, true. And I mean, you tend not to do on. that with the Odin, do you? Just run in, no. do a raid, run out. You you can you can hit the Termas, but hitting Mermillos, mm. you definitely don't want to fight that. Oh, there's a TC grab. Ooh, I don't know about this. Especially, okay, he's not chasing. Well, I guess it works then. <laughs> I figured Kimo would probably be chasing the Ulfsarks around, but that's not yeah. happening. Where's he going instead? That way he's blocked off. I mean, he can get yeah. through it, but... He's just going to punch through it. Oh, splitting them up as well. I think this is good for Matt here, and I think now is also the point where you want to cut making Ulfsarks. That's a lot of Ulfsarks. <laughs> Right now, you don't need any more. You've got like 16, 18, 19, 20. Nah. Yeah, I'm hoping he gets... Yeah, okay, that off sucks alive, so he should be able to get this wall up if no one else finds him. Alright. Bit of a surround here, maybe. We might be able to knock some, down most of these houses and the towers here, because these units are very far away. Yeah, that's annoying having to go back to deal with this. Yeah, I'm just no, stop making all sorts. <laughs> making some throwing axemen. <laughs> oh man, you're sure slowing down. Oh everything. no, take him out, take him out. Picked up the hero terminal. Huh? Maybe force fire would be nice here, but Temple's dead, so that relic is now uh, mm. no longer active. Oh, he's picked it up though. He's not going to let Blue take that. Yeah. I mean, these units are not in the fight, and units here do not want to fight this if you are a Matreus. He must going for Copper Mail, so he's really committing to this classic fighting. And let's see if that works out for him. Has Matt got any armory ops? No, no, he just took a TC. Yeah. We might need Oops. to garrison these garrison, guys. Please. That's one dead. Oh, boy. Where are you going with them anyway? Like. Garrison. Dude. Come on, Matt. Matt, what is this? Yeah, there you go. Okay, let's knock cart. Maybe. Not actually. <laughs> There's the rest of the army. Yay. And is blue is the wall finished? The wall is finished up there? There's what? the relic. Okay. I just yeah, <laughs> I saw the line of sight just go bing. <laughs> it's such a huge amount of line. Six is huge. If it was like two or something, then yeah, maybe not that great, but six. Alright, it's being pushed off that, but luckily he's got this. Second TC for chemo. Well actually third TC for chemo. Wow. Kima. So he's just gonna go for it, or maybe Matt can cut this off if he uh, if he's quick go enough. around. Yep. Doesn't have any wood though to block off the pathing, path but maybe he wouldn't be able to actually do much with that anyway because they'll just knock it down. He's almost up heroic if he has an armory somewhere. And he doesn't. And yeah, the Matt, Matt doesn't like armories. I have. <laughs> <laughs> There it is. Okay. Yeah, but now obviously he could be already going up, but mm. he's not. Unfortunately, maybe just chuck him all on. Is he getting har harassed on his gold up the top? Oh yeah, he is. He's broken through there, and uh, one Promethean being a pain. Man, he should be using his throwing axeman to attack, not build here. Use one of the four hundred old sacks you've got to build. There's Scott, he is going through, so he's going to get that heroic age. Chemo should be up himself very shortly. Yep, got the armory. Any minute now. Hyperion. So now I think it's up to Matt to get his third. I'm going to say, Hyperion's not going to be the strongest god power here. <laughs> well, it would be once Frost Giants are on the field. Yeah, yeah, once the Frost Giants are, yeah. But just this army by itself is... 
Can you guys get some nice hits off before they break through? No. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to run from that. Yeah, and you have to send his old sarks back here. Yeah, maybe kill that. But luckily, I oh mean, this might be kind of open, but there's still a wall here. I was thinking you could just move them over to this gold mine, and that should be fine. So Kimo's managed to finish those town centers. They'll get us around here on like the Terma and the back of the Mimillos. And the Frost is available, but you don't want to use it because this is a winning fight. Yeah. And you can chuck down a hill fort here as well if you want. Yeah, nice fight by Matt there. Yeah, that's huge. That's pretty much everyone dead. Now, yeah, uh, I wouldn't you know, not even go for a fort. I'll just go straight to this TC and grab it. Yeah. Instantly Make picking up Winter forward. Harvest as well. Oh yeah, that's nice. That's a really strong upgrade. Ooh, Matt. Okay. Matt. This is getting a bit too much. <laughs> <laughs> Matt. Okay, Matt, I think it's time to... You, it's fine to just back off here. You, just, you can't push. Not with this unit. No. Like you said, probably take the TC now. Or a hill fort. Or get shockwave. Frost? Why? Yeah. What, what is the objective here? Just, at this point, I would even just back... Well, I used to use it as a ceasefire and build my TC and wall yeah. off this side and... Wall this and I think he's going to possibly build the TC anyway, but it looks like he's building it with one it unit. Could, it could build a hill fort here as well. I yeah. think it would be nice. It blocks the gold and it allows mm. you to make rams. Plus, like, if it comes to late game, like someone said, a one hour game, then you trade, oh, your corners yeah. are cut. <laughs> I feel like we're not going to get a one hour game of this matchup, though, personally. <laughs> <laughs> they promised us, though. Okay, heavy, heavy infantry coming in for Matt though, which is really nice. Oh yeah, definitely. I don't think yeah, that this is not really worth. That me. was that was very yeah. very meh. Meh. Okay, Taking there's a one TC. unit <laughs> building a TC <laughs> with a Oracle line of sight, so that's uh. And X pickaxe coming through just now. Oh wow. I mean, That's a bit got, late. He's got plow and uh, and uh, winter harvest and husbandry, but uh, mm. X pickaxe. He's on 64 villagers, so not Ooh. too bad. The Arcus are going to be painful here, and the Satyr. He needs that hill fort now. He needs to get some Yarls or something in. Some horse Carls, I think, would do be quite nice. Horse Carls, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. that one, that one, one Ulf Sark, one throwing Axeman is not going to get that TC up. What a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's a market. Is he going bolder? Or is he going up? Um, Not yet. He's buying medium cav and copper shield, so he's making raiding cav. Mm. Meh. He's losing a unit here though. Yeah, you should fight under your TC. Like, um, Kimo can't oh. push in here, there's no siege. Oh wow, that's, that's a big. big. Raid. One, two, three villagers, definitely. Is Kimo, Kimo running out of gold then? Like, he's he's kind of... No, he's got oh. that one. What hit that? That was a frost giant, I think. I don't ah. know what happened to it though. Where's the frost giant now? Maybe it died. Oh, well, these are new there's ones. a different one. Strange. Winter harvest, um, better farming. Yeah, winter harvest is 20% uh, farm gather rate. I'd say that's pretty big. Yeah, that's massive. It's like having a rain. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> Oh, there's the um, chaos. chaos. The giant. Are they going to freeze each other? Yes, they are. Well, even worse, he doesn't get to freeze the chaos yeah. one. Yeah, he tried to run. You can't outrun the frost. Okay, looks like Kimo wants to break through here because he wanted to get on top of this, but Boulder is 20% now. Oh, nice. So all Matt has to do is just try and keep his villagers alive. Is he is he starting to get at least some armory ups as well? Not at the moment. Does he still have an armory? Yes. Okay. Should be getting them though, but I would like to see maybe Matt as well start a trade route or something so that when he does hit Boulder, he's got yeah. some income, especially the gold. Like, he wants some frost giants in here. This is going to be quite an interesting rag because you know, this rag is it's, it's the finals, mm. and it's the final game of the finals. <laughs> 
So, you know, clicking this button is pretty much all in if you don't have any kind of backup trade or something. So, 72 villagers, and Kimo is, you know, fully boomed. He's, he's, uh, he's getting ready for it. He's preparing. Yep. Double walls. Has he got any um, fortresses yet? Not Palaces? Yet. He's looking to go mythic, though, I think, first. Oh, yeah, there's a the market. market. But right now, Matt playing like, you know, your typical Norse player who's ready to go wreck. <laughs> what, pulling all villagers. his villagers back? Yeah, <laughs> very <laughs> obvious. Didn't even force drop his... Ah, that's sad. I wish he'd at least force drop some of the gold villagers. Like, he's got nothing behind this. Yeah, there's, no, he's got two armory ups. Nothing no trade, crazy. Though. He could cancel all of the... Oh, he's got units in the back. Oh, boy. Oh boy. Right, got them, okay. Drop me on the walls. Well, at least they didn't get finished. At least they're not stone. <laughs> Kimo is looking to go. Well, looked like he was going to go mythic, but maybe he's giving up on that idea because yeah, he needs I the think gold. Yeah, you need to defend, don't you? That's your priority. A lot of Arcus here, though. Oh boy, you need to get through his wall yeah, and fast. Arcus are not that strong, I don't think. I guess Rag. I mean, yeah, if you can sit them behind buildings or something, they'll be pretty good, but... Yeah, this is gonna clear this out. It doesn't have masons yet. Guard tower coming through, but masons would be nice as well. This is a really good position here for Kimo, like the front line of those heavy mamilla with the Arcus and the Satyr behind it. I mean, obviously the Satyr don't do a lot against the heroes, but there are some throwing axemen there. Yeah, Matt's lost that complete army there, basically. And there's still this as well, but I don't think this is enough to kill nice. the TC. Yikes. Retreating already. Yeah, that's yikes. He sees down. There's one that's tower nice. here, but that's not going to be enough. But now he needs to come back. Or oh, the fire giant only mm. just now came in. Yeah, I mean, Kimo is definitely on the ropes here, but, you know, Matt's pretty much all in completely. Mm -hmm. he, can, he can come back, but. Slowly. 2TC only. Yeah. No trade. Yep. He's going to have to really bring Kimo's villagers down to like three or something to be able to come yeah. back. Yeah, I think so far he's killed seven because Kimo was yeah. on 27 before the rag hit. Well, he's on 21 now, so... Yeah. Kimo is uh, not really able to get gold. He will be able to use the market for a while though. But he, uh, he's still mining gold here for yeah. now. But that's not going to last very long and that's going to be... Hopefully, a bunch of villagers dead, at least hopefully for Matt. And hopefully for Kimo, not, but I think they're dying. <laughs> but if, even with all these villagers dead, I don't know, this is so yeah. close. Yeah, it is. He's got bronze weapons and bronze mail, that's what he went for instead of mythic. And now, yeah, Matt's going a bit too deep here and losing a few units needlessly, like, oh, you can't go in there yet. You need like your full yeah. army here. I think I think what would be nice oh. for Matt right now is if he can squeeze in a third TC. Even just 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 this one, I guess. Just get a TC up, a third one, and that will actually allow you to come back. Yeah, but he, if what, he cancels yeah. all of the units he has. So he does. He's done that. Oh, he's got yeah, one it's... frost giant, no, which is not actually queued. Yeah, I don't think he can yeah, afford it. It's, Wish it's he would, had just spent like his 400 food to get four caravans going. And he could be maybe on like 500. He spent something. What's he bought? No, he can't sell Oh, he's it. Buying, buying gold. Selling and buying. He's trying to get this TC. Wait, wh 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 where did he spend wood on? He must. He spent wood on something. Because he had enough wood and now he doesn't. Yeah, but did he sell wood for gold? Ah, did he do that? that that's, not, that's not good. <laughs> I think he probably did. Yeah, now it's becoming very tough because... Kimo is still pumping out Mermillo like no tomorrow. Even though he's not mining anywhere, but Matt cannot really fight it that well. With the fire giant, maybe? But I don't even see the fire giant anywhere, actually. Is the fire giant dead? Oh, oh no, no, don't leave him there. Pull him into your yeah, fight. You need him in here. <laughs> you need him. You need every unit you can get. Matt's so close as well. Did he. Pull one of the villagers to wood, maybe? Could do it. Yeah, this this is the trick here. As Matt, don't take this fight. No. Take these take these wins here, that's great, and pull back. 
You don't want to drop too far below your pop cap, otherwise, yeah, you need to keep him at bay. If yeah, you lose too many units, yeah. you need to keep Kima off the gold as well. Like, yeah. Ay ay ay! Oh, this is. Oh, this is. Mm, I don't like it. Fight, Where's the fire giant as well? The fire giant's yeah, going somewhere. I mean, oh, he killed the villager oh, over there. So bad, but put him in the fight now. Now it's probably too late. I think oh, to put chaos. him in the fight. Oh man, maybe that's why I didn't want him there. Mm, yeah, I guess. I think Matt, you just have to. But, he's lost everything here. But now, yeah, Akimo can just get gold now. That's that's the big problem. Yeah, unless the fire giant can somehow hold. <laughs> I think he's fighting his own chaos units. Fight, yeah, stop fighting your own chaos units. Go fight blue. Like, okay, here we go. Kimo's moving over to this side, and over oh there. yeah, it's gonna be a mass influx of gold. He still wants seventeen villagers. The villager counts are even right now, which is obviously not good for the Norse. <laughs> and they're both on two TCs. Fire Giant still at play, and wow. Okay, Matt's spending resources now, but that might just be on um, dwarves and villagers, to be honest. Okay, getting some more damage dealt. Oh, yeah, he's, he's starting to pump out units, okay. Yeah, I think as he realized, he cannot let this happen. But, but the Mumilo, will... <laughs> like, Mumilo against RC here. Yeah, it will happen. It's but, Fire Giant's yeah, so slow. It's... He's gonna get those resource up. He's gonna have barracks. Still has three, four yeah. barracks out. So that's look fine. how fast his gold's going up. Like that's ticking up crazy fast with those what five citizens on it. Yeah. And if only he had oh, there's two goats there. If only he had this TC up, or even this TC, just any of the TCs, he could be able to recover this. Rag. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I wish he'd waited just a few minutes before hitting the the rag button. Either got armory up, got his market started, got a TC, or all three. And he'd be in a lot stronger position right now. Doesn't have that great eco up. No. Irrigation, but... Yeah, Kimo's eco is just so much stronger right now than Matt's and... I mean, this also puts Kimo still on a timer because it's still 2v2 TC, and if you wait too long without doing anything, eventually Matt will c pick up the eco, but... So what's... what's did Kimo go up through Hecate, or...? No, he's not oh, mythic. Oh, he's not mythic. So yeah, that's a power spike, isn't it? Like, if he can get up. Yeah, the, that's that's one more thing he can opt for. Honestly, I think he can just grab all his units and kill the TC. <laughs> Does he still have another Chaos? No. Does have a Shockwave, though. He's kind of doing nothing right now. I think he's more scared yeah. than he needs to be. Yeah, I think he is. Going for the TC, though. That's okay. going to be nice. Matt's going to try and wall this TC off. God, I still... You know... I'd say, you know, the ball's in Kimo's hands. He's definitely got the advantage, but I still cannot say this game's over. No. Get rid of that. Now, Matt can hopefully soon take this TC and use this gold mine because mm. this one is getting exhausted. Wow, that is a lot of people on one gold mine. Yeah, those are all villagers as well, yeah. not dwarves. Let's start making dwarves and move the villagers yeah. to other places. Is they making any caravans? Nope. Again, Kimo is still playing very defensive, but he's looking for the sky passage thing. Yeah, the sky passage is going to be massive. That's I reckon that's going to like win in the game. Being able to just flick yeah. across the map while this uh, while the Odin is you know moving fire giants across the map with their two speed or whatever. This villager might. Or might not. Yeah, he's been spotted. But he might survive still. There's a Mumillo there to fight the hero. Oh, there's a lot of Mumillos yeah. there. <laughs> yeah. It looks like he wants to come through here. But there's, there's some heroes back here, though. But there's it's a lot of Fire Giant, though. I think this is a winning fight for Matt. Like If Matt can get a nice wall attack on that. Yeah. Oof. But there's a Sky Passage. That's going to be a tricky Sky Passage, too. Is Hecate coming through? Sky Passage is denied on this side. 
That's nice for Matt. In fact, maybe he can consider making a marker to you. Yeah, finishing his wall. walls. Yeah. Even um, hill fort and ballista now. Yeah. Or at least just the hill fort, just so you have one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that gold mine's out. Okay, Still got side. Yeah. Champion infantry coming through from Matt. Oh no, he's losing units for mm. free here. That's not good. That's not good. That's not nice. He's sending his fire giants back by the look. It does look like, yeah, Kimo's making a move. I reckon he'll try and throw up a palace on that TC or something, perhaps. Maybe not. Or maybe. Yeah. And there's no more rag to worry about. Someone's asking if we can check Matt's eco upgrades. Quite bare bones still. Very good farming, but again, just hand axe pickaxe. Okay, this is not gonna go up actually, so this is again quite unsafe. Ooh, losing oh, the market's market. big. It's a lot of fire giants now though, like he just needs to do something with them. Oh, he was doing a special attack, but he just yeah. ran away. <laughs> that's, that's unfortunate. Could have definitely popped that one off. Get these fire giants in a fight, do something with them. Take an objective oh, with them. Trying to wall this again. Yeah, see, Blue. Kimo's just gonna take this TC if, if Matt's not careful. Okay, he's moving units across now, but they're so slow. What was that sound? That was oh, that was the Hecate. Yep. So where is he gonna go with this one? We can you know, just chuck it down in the middle somewhere. Yeah, this is not looking too great. There's not, there's not really any units here other than just nah. yeah, four fire giants. Because all the units have gone back to stop it's, Kimo taking this TC. No rags, so... Five fire giants now. That's a lot. But now he needs actual units and... Some of these longhouses are not yet producing. Oh, man, I mean, he's full pop. Yeah. Oh. He really needs to snipe those heroes. Oh, two of them are dead. Yeah, wow. But the Arcus, maybe. Okay. Okay, so Kim, uh, Matt stopped that, but now he's got all these idle military. Get him moving, Matt. Come on. Move, move, move. Building this now. Okay, good. Oh no, and then Mumilo flooding through the sky passage. I think the throwing axemen would win this fight though, if they turn yeah. around and fight. Okay, one villager dead. Yeah, just turn around and fight this. Yeah, you want to keep these numbers low. Yeah, get the fire drones out of there and escape. Lampade coming through the top side. <laughs> Still hasn't placed his Tartarian gate yet. No, that's surprising. He probably... I don't know. He could maybe do it with the heroes. Yeah, he should do it now while sort of Matt's distracted yeah. over this side, right? What control even coming oh, in? Oh, is that it? There. Oh, okay. Strange. Yeah, Matt, Matt's not going to be able to get any wood with all the villagers killing the Tartarian gate and the TC is denied. But the fire units. giants are coming. They're just so slow though. Oh, they're not even coming, oh, my bad. I'm paid dead. <gasps> Before it hits its special. Yep. Oh, no. No, he got the special off. Oh, oh wow. And that's the series. GG. Damn. <laughs> I, 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 I remember Matt saying, Kimo in the finals, I can handle that. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> couldn't handle it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. GG. Very uh, interesting final game. Longer than I expected. Yep. Not one hour, luckily. <laughs> <laughs> but very well played to Kimo. Yep. Once again, taking a meta play tournament. Yeah, so how does the EE ladder look? Let me have a look. On meta plays, the ladder. 1v1 supremacy, Voobly. Matt is still number one on the ladder. Ah. <laughs> It's very close between them, though. They've both got 13 wins, but Kimo has slightly more losses. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's all just dependent on which yeah. tournament, yeah. which prize pools you're playing. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then third on the ladder, for anyone interested, is Ulysses, then followed by Moore. It's quite an accurate top, I would say. Yeah. It's nice. Hagrid's number nine, for anyone wondering. <laughs> Pretty good, Hagrid. Well done. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> All 
All right. Quick look at the post game. Yeah, resource obviously way in Kima's advantage because of the reg. Man, I think I really think Matt could have had this game. But Kima held on very well. Yeah. And made the right calls and yeah. Took the W. We want to thank our MetaPlace website subscribers. Your contribution helps us keep hosting events. As we reach higher subscription goals, we can increase the price pools of the events we host. Check out our subscription page using the link in the description. And remember to collect your perks. We will see you the next time.